Welcome back to Drizzle Land. This is the review show um, where I pick out a few movies and we review them and we just kind of discuss them. So, now essentially, Pirates of Silicon Valley is basically, and I'll show you the back of it too if you guys can see it. Essentially, this is basically a movie about the earlier um, productions of the beginnings of Microsoft and Apple and some of the companies around the same period of time. This movie was also broadcast on TNT originally um, as a two-part movie. Um, I believe it was a 19... Hang on in 1999 I think or 2000 um, but I really enjoyed this movie I think that uh, especially for fans of Microsoft and uh, you know Steve Jobs and some of the earlier computer developers this is was one of the most uh, well directed movies I've ever seen uh, I would give it 10 stars in my opinion it was really wonderful to watch um, hang on here we're going to switch that up to We're the Millers. This is a movie that is really hilarious. It even has Jennifer Aniston in it. Um, it's more modern. It's Essentially, it's about a guy who is a drug dealer, um, and he's surviving uh, in this crummy building, basically, trying to pay rent. Um, his best friend is... A woman who's a stripper, which plays this Jennifer Aniston. Um, very, very funny, hilarious movie. Definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I've seen the Blu ray version and the DVD. I would give it probably like a 9.5. It's really funny for comedy. I definitely recommend checking it out. Okay. Um, here's a movie that. Um, is really really well done I mean it's a more modern uh, 90s uh, drama um, and this is one of the movies that I really enjoyed Drew Barrymore in um, it was basically essentially Cinderella but a little bit more raunchy there was you know a lot more to the story um, Angelica Houston is in this movie as well she did a really great job in it uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, nine stars, in my opinion. It's it's definitely worth checking out. Um, and yes, I do own it. Spice World. Now, some people would probably say, Drizzle, what are you doing owning Spice World? It's because, hello, they were one of the most popular bands in the 90s. I even went to a concert at the at the Palace of Auburn Hills and I saw them perform back when Ginger was still in the group. So, what could I say about this movie? Funny, hilarious. Elton John is in the movie, for God's sakes. Uh, the scene when they stay in the haunted house is really hilarious and absolutely funny um, because they just get incredibly freaked out and like a lot of creepy stuff starts happening um for this being a music themed movie i don't see anything wrong with it i liked it um i've seen it several times um so here is my favorite disney movie of all time a goofy movie this movie also has this, the soundtrack which was developed by Prince and several other 90s artists. Um, so yeah, this is definitely something to be happy to watch. Um, now, My Stepmom's an Alien, Dan Aykroyd, Kim Basinger. Uh, this is one of the most funniest movies ever made as far as I'm concerned um, it also has a few cameos of some people as well so I just wanted to point that 